Slow event rates or low event numbers can be due to a variety of issues. To determine if the issue is within the instrument versus probe related, perform a sample probe bypass. First, remove the clear shield in front of the sample probe. Remove the light housing above the sample probe. Unscrew the keminert fitting above the sample probe. Slide the keminert fitting back from the end of the tubing. Put seven drops of CON1 reagent into a microcentrifuge tube or equivalent container. This will act as a sample well. Insert the free end of the sample line into the tube with the CON1 reagent. Ensure the sample line does not touch the bottom of the tube, as this could cause slow acquisition. Ensure the laser is warmed up, and then using Exponent software, under the Maintenance page, Commands and Routines tab, run a CON command. Watch your fingers as the sample probe will move while the command is running. While the CON command is running, within Exponent software, Note the events per second, which should average 350. If the instrument counts an insufficient number of beads and the CON command fails, the issue is within the instrument, and additional troubleshooting will need to be performed. Please call Luminex Technical Support for further guidance. If the instrument counts a sufficient number of beads and the CON command runs successfully when sampling directly from the sample line, the problem was either due to improper probe height, a clogged probe, or a bent probe. Remove the probe from the instrument and perform a roll test to check for a bent probe. If the probe is bent, replace with a new probe. To clean the sample probe, sonicate the probe in a bath sonicator. Then flush the probe using distilled water and a syringe. Flush from the narrow end out through the larger end. Return the probe to the instrument. After the sample probe bypass is performed, push the keminert fitting back down so it sits at the end of the sample line. Place the keminert fitting back and tighten the fitting. Perform a probe height adjustment. Finally, run the clog removal routine in the exponent software. Replace the light housing and ensure that the sample line does not get pinched or caught by the plastic edge. Finally, replace the plastic shield. The sample probe bypass test is complete.